Hey, what's up everybody, Wayne here. Today on Equipment World, Bobcat is continuing the rollout of its next generation excavator lineup, the R2 series. Now, the company actually started this rollout last year with the introduction of the E42 and the E50. And this new model, the E60, brings all of the same R2 series improvements, a new engine, a new cooling system, improved maintenance, and better over the side performance. So, let's get into it. Now, if you're familiar with the Bobcat Excavator lineup, you might recognize the E60 model name. Hell, you might even own one. Uh, the previous E60 was introduced back in 2008, and it was discontinued in 2013. Now, obviously, a lot has changed in the world of excavators since the initial E60's introduction back in 2008, and even since its discontinuation in 2013. So, clearly, if you're going from E60 to E60, you can expect a world of difference. But the other interesting thing about this machine is that it actually slots in between between two current excavators that are actually part of the previous generation, the E55 introduced back in 2014 and the E63 introduced back in 2013. Now, interestingly enough, back in 2013, when that E63 was first introduced, not only was it one of the two largest models that Bobcat had ever introduced, which is kind of funny now, given the fact that an E145 and an E165 have hit the market, but it was also introduced to replace the E60 that ran from 2008 to 2013. And now, here in 2020, the E60 is back and it's here to replace not only that larger E63, but also the smaller E55. And when you dig into the core important specs of these three machines, that move starts to make a lot of sense. First off, when it comes to dig depth and reach, all three of these machines, the E55, the new E60, and the E63, all three of them pretty much accomplish the same thing, 20 feet roughly of reach and around 13 feet of dig depth. And when it comes to operating weights, this is kind of where things start to diverge a little bit. The E55 and the E60 are very similar with their weights, just around 300 pounds of difference with the E60 just being a little bit heavier, but the E63 kind of stands apart. It's about one and a half tons heavier than the E60. With this new E60, Bobcat was actually able to pack more digging force, 10,261 pound feet to be precise, into a five and a half metric ton machine in the E60 compared to what they had on the 6.2 metric ton E63. We did really well with improving that overall performance where we're pretty close to that E63 as is. So we kind of looked at that as an opportunity to really um, simplify our lineup. Um, it helps out our dealers quite a bit as well for stocking. It helps out our customers. We have more machines available at the time when they come into the dealership. Another difference with this new E60 compared to the two machines it's replacing is a new engine. Just like its R2 series siblings in this four to six ton size class, the new E60 is powered by a redesigned Bobcat D18. Bobcat says this new version of the D18 is easier and less time consuming to perform routine maintenance on, plus they've improved cold weather performance. Another welcome change on this new engine is that oil change intervals have actually increased by about 50% from 500 hours to 750 hours. But I think the big um, the, the big item here that's changed with our engine and, and the big improvement is a new fuel system, an upgraded fuel system. We've got a bigger fuel filter, um, so it's gonna last longer. It's got two times the surface media. It's got a clear water bowl on it. It's got a sensor on it. So, you know, if you need to service it or it's plugged or, or if there's an issue, it's going to tell you in the cab when that happens. Right. So, um, you know, right away when there's when there's something there, uh, we've got a pre filter on it now. So, I mean, yesteryear, you had to have, um, you know, those little screens in your fills when you're filling it with diesel at the station. You've had to have your own screen. Well, we put a pre filter on it now as well. So we're trying to protect that better. You know, we've had primer bulbs in the past. Right. This is a self priming system now. So we have a lift pump versus an old you know, the older fashioned primer bulb. I think the maintenance overall has, has been a stable for Bobcat, but that's gotten a little bit better too. Bobcat has also implemented a new cooling system on the E60 with a side-by-side -side heat exchanger design. In the end, it means more cool air hitting the engine. Really, it's 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 all about airflow. And I think side-by-side -side versus stacked is, is kind of where you're going to see some of those changes, right? So, or these, those efficiencies. And I think when you've got a stack system, you get airflow moving through one and it goes into the other. So you've got fresh cooler air moving in through one cooler, 
into the next cooler. So you don't have fresh, cool air going into that second cooler. Now, when they're, you know, side by side, you've got fresh air coming into both equally. So it's a much more efficient system. And beyond the engine, the other really big change on this E60 is improved over the side performance. Both lift and dig over the side ability have improved on the E60, along with slewing capability, thanks to new dual flange rollers in the undercarriage. Essentially, we've um, brought more steel and more of that um, undercarriage closer to the track's edge. So if you think about it, we're getting a little wider with some of those components. And if you think about, you know, getting a little wider, you can you can just imagine how that would improve some of those over the side specifications. So really just that switch going from single flange to dual flange has really made some increases. Um, not only only in you know the capabilities over but over the side but digging as well and as a nice little bonus those dual flange rollers in the undercarriage have brought a noticeable improvement to ride quality and if you want a further improvement to the lifting over the side digging and slewing capabilities on the e60 bobcat is also offering an optional add-on counterweight another available option on the bobcat e60 is a hydraulic clamp diverter really that diverter valve lets you move that flow between the attachment and the clamp. But the big benefit is that you can leave that clamp on uh, rather than hassling with it, removing hoses, removing clamps, things like that. So, you know, if you're talking about a demolition guy, right? So he's got a, a breaker on it and he's got that, he left that clamp on it, right? So at the end of that job, when he's done breaking everything, he can leave that clamp on when he's breaking. And when he's done, um, he just takes off that breaker. It's a real simple process, throws on the bucket, changes that valve over with just a simple turn, changes it over to the clamp and he can go. Now let's move on to the cab of the E60. And this is an all new design and Bobcat's primary focus here was improving operator comfort. This redesigned cab features new joystick controls that require less effort for input from the operator. It also features automatic climate control and Bluetooth audio. Plus getting in and out of this cab is gonna be a little bit easier as well, thanks to a redesigned structure that has narrow or side pillars. And this redesigned structure has also increased visibility because Bobcat has been able to get more glass around the sides of the machine thanks to those narrower side pillars, but they've also been able to get more glass up top in the roof. There are some optional pieces of equipment to know about with this cab as well. While a five inch screen comes standard, you can also opt for a seven inch touch display. However, on that display, Jason actually says that that five inch standard display is kind of an upgrade in its own right. I kind of like to compare our, our new displays to our old deluxe displays. So, you know, our new standard is, is even an upgrade over our deluxe display. And so, you know, to start out with the, the five inch um, display with the jog shuttle, it's a great screen. It has a lot of capabilities in it. You can put operator codes in it. You can track um, operator hours, fuel, fuel efficiency, idle hours. Um, if an operator throws a code, you know who did it and when, and if they kept operating when they shouldn't have and things like that. So it's great to keep track of what's going on with each operator. Um, you get detailed service information. I think that's one that's, that's really stood out to uh, owners and operators everywhere is, you know, password and, and security. I think with that uh, new seven inch touch display, the best way that I could describe that is it's a lot like uh, having the the nice features you get in your truck um, and those displays while still being able to use it in an open cab uh, an open cab excavator right it's made for um, it's really made for being outside and rugged and outdoors and stuff and so you know it's it's been through pressure wash tests it's got it's you know, this is maybe a little bit too technical, but on the hardness scale, it's like a 9H in the Mohs scale, which is pretty scratch resistant. And so I think initially people saw touchscreen, they thought open cabs, and they thought, I don't know about compact equipment, but it really does. It's been through the ringer, it's been through the tests, and you can make, you know, it's connected to Bluetooth. You can make phone calls while you're in the cab. You can stream music. It's, like I said, it's a lot like um, you get all that great stuff that you expect out of a, a standard display, but it's a lot like being in your truck. Another option, the rear view camera integrates with that other option, the seven inch touch display and can actually show you a continuous view of whatever's behind you. And one final option to know about on this cab is the available high back heated seat. Now we talked about maintenance with Jason a little bit earlier whenever we were discussing the new engine, the new fuel system and the new cooling system. But here's how the rest of the maintenance story on the E60 shakes out. You know, you've got got great access at the tailgate as always to get to a lot of those engine components. 
Um, alternator access, starter access is great. And that's because the counterweight is not necessarily in the way for us. Um, that side opening, that side panel allows you to get to a lot of the hydraulic components. So as far as access goes, we're great. Getting to the starter and alternator with our equipment, um, you can get to that fairly easily. You know, we, we talked about the, the cooling system that's improved. That's that's also something from a serviceability standpoint that's improved because you don't have stack coolers anymore. So you don't have to separate those to clean them out. It's just one solid cooler that's easy to clean. Um, and then you have longer intervals with the oil filter and the fuel filter. So overall service is still at the forefront uh, with our excavators and it's even improved some since the last series. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up our look at the all new Bobcat E60. Please let us know what you think in the comments below about this new excavator, about that new engine, about the new cooling system, the improved maintenance, the improved over the side digging and lifting performance. Let us know what you think about this new machine in the comments below. We love hearing from you guys. Hey, and if you like this video and found it useful for your next machine purchase or rental, please do us a favor and hit that like button below. It really helps our channel out. And if you want more videos and more coverage on the latest in construction equipment, head over to our website at equipmentworld.com. And while you're there, subscribe to our daily newsletter. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe right here on YouTube and turn on notifications. Hit that bell so you're receiving up to the minute alerts whenever we drop our next machine video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate your time and we'll see you next time.